What if you lost all your muscle that you worked for your entire life just like that? Well, that is exactly what happened to Bob. How are you feeling? Excited and happy that we're finally gonna be getting back up, getting a bit bigger for weeks, maybe months. I didn't even look at myself in the mirror. I was wearing shirts like this. I couldn't cope with it, I think, mentally. Let's look at the damage. A hundred days ago during a workout, he tore off his bicep. He came over to tell me what happened and this is what he looked like. A few days later, he got surgery and they told him he can't work out for quite some time. And he knew he would lose a lot of the muscle he worked on for 15 years. So I made him a promise. Once he can start working out again, we will transform him back in 90 days. And today is that day. This is what he looks like after not working out for a hundred days. Okay, Damage. okay. He still looks fed, but it does feel like years of work just vanished. But we're going to get him back to Big Bob. And as you can maybe guess, we didn't call him Big Bob for his height. He's 172 centimeters. He is super focused on health and has built a crazy physique with 15 years of consistent working out up until now. And we've got a lot of muscle to get back because this is how much he exactly lost in 100 days. He has lost over 10 kilograms of muscle and gained a bit of fat. And right now he's weighing in at 66.6 .6 kilograms. 32 centimeters. He lost a good amount of centimeters even in his non-injured arm. Other uh, arm. I'm even sweating now because I'm yeah, getting yeah. scared. And of course his injured arm was even worse. 31 centimeters. Some people even commented that he must have such bad genetics that he lost so much. It's pretty unbelievable what 100 days did to him. Let's see how these measurements change and how much muscle memory will help. Let's start training. Let's start training. Okay. Now do strength test. But wait, how? Let's do a... Let's do pull-ups. Uh, Normally we test push-ups, pull-ups, jumps, and burn 20 calories as fast as possible. But Bob is really starting from zero. So what can he do? Okay, let's go. So he can do curls with one kilogram. This actually feels kind of heavy. And he can do some exercises that put minimum stress on the bicep. We did what, like 10 reps? And my arm is super tired. I can't wait to do my first push-up. So besides one push-up, the goals are one, of course, gain muscle. Get as close as possible to his physique and weight before the injury. Two, strength. Get as much of his strength back. Basically for every single exercise, but specifically get him to do his first pull-up again. Hopefully all of this will help with goal three, his mental strength and self-image. He's only been wearing oversized t-shirts to not have to see his body change. So what can Bob win? Previous contestants have won prizes from 500 bucks to 10,000 bucks to a dream holiday. So Bob can win. Every time I watch these challenges, there's extrinsic or external motivation. Why not do it for you, for your health? So we're going to do it. Without any external motivation. Wait, what? You're not uh, gonna get any. Uh, um, um, <laughs> you're, he's gone, he's gone. I'm leaving, man. But we're going to help him throughout the way. We hooked him up with enough protein for the year. Go Brownie for a sick discount at my protein. He's got all types of workout clothing, also tight shirts, not only oversized. There's a physio monitoring him for optimal recovery. And Bob has three sessions a week. The physio will say if he's ready for the next step or not. And I even got to try out this machine that the physio uses on Bob to get his mind muscle connection back. Super interesting and a weird feeling. So we just got a new routine for three to four times a week. And I think the main thing right now is to see if I get a reaction in my arm tomorrow. New movements always means if there's no reaction, great, we'll do it. If my arm feels a bit shit tomorrow, we'll have to take a step back. That's the way how we go through the entire process, basically. So Bob got to work and he was actually excited to be able to put in the work again. All right, so today's the first day that I actually feel pretty sore. I'm super, super happy about it this time. It means that we're on the way back. So the only issue is right now I'm sitting in front of my physical therapist. That's probably going to mean that I'm going to be tortured for like 30 minutes. So already after seven days, the physio told Bob that he is ready for the next step. It is day seven right now. And basically we have just done the first proper workout after three and a half months. So it's not like a full, full workout light bicep curls, incline push-ups. So it's just so motivating, so I can't wait to hit the gym again. And Bob already smashed the goal because he just did his first push-ups again. And Bob's arm was also feeling better and better, not just in terms of gains or strength, but also general pain. All right, so it's the day after we did the first push-up and the row, and I must say the arm, it feels good. You know, there's no reaction. I don't see a physical difference yet, but you know, it's just been, been a week or something since we started training, so. But over the next few days, Bob did start to see some changes. So we're now two weeks into the 90-day the challenge and basically I must say I feel like I've grown like muscle-wise. But is that really true? Is it just me seeing myself with a pump? Is it body dysmorphia slowly going away? I'm about to go to Arjen and Sam and see what they actually think. Go. Day 15. How is Big Bob feeling? Pretty good. I'm feeling bigger, but I'm really interested to see if you guys think the same. Let's see if uh, we see a difference. Oh, oh, you. Chest is looking. Yes. Actually, this side is getting bigger faster than the other side. Can you do a full push-up? Yes. All right. So one of the things I have to start doing is this, right? And then I, I can't, like, 
it's just the stability oh. here. This would be a PR. Seven and a half. Maybe that's first warm up a bit, like do yeah. five first. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Five kilograms, that looks good. Let's PR time. Let's PR. try PR. Ooh, this, is a, this is an actual weight. PR time. Okay, yo, oh, this is scary. Okay, a bit. seven and a half kilos. Yeah. You look excited to work out. I actually am. Just to try out the most basic exercise like curls. <laughs> yeah. It's just so great to see. Step by step, coming closer to the pull. Basically, what they say now is the biceps fully attached, so it should be as strong as this one. If we go too fast, there will be a lot of irritation in the elbow. Uh, yeah. That means I have to stop for two or three weeks again. The next day, Bob got the hair from the physio and he's ready for the next steps. He can have normal workouts again. We're currently at day 16, so if this means I can start working out now, I'm super, super hopeful that in about two weeks' time, when I'm back at, at Stan and Aryan, not only is my mental state riding on this, but maybe also a bit my pride, because uh, I, I really want this to work. So he's super excited Bob stopped by the next day so we could work on four. We're going through all the exercise that he's allowed to do right now. We don't want Bob to injure himself again, so we're working on perfect form. Look at the shaking going on here and as you can see bob is still shaking during a lot of the exercises so you want to be here instead of yeah. here and not yeah. completely here so bob goes 110 percent in his first workout again and as you can expect he feels like he just worked out for the first time in his life so it's the morning of day 19 and i am so sore i've done two full upper body days right now i'm supposed to go again today but yeah there's no way which is kind of shit because i want to work out but i also have to listen to my body so tomorrow we're back into the gym with uh, with a proper workout his weight was going up he's extremely consistent with his workouts and his diet is on point so i just realized something i was just making some dinner at some point you know i had to flip the pan around and so far post-surgery i've been doing this with my left arm without thinking about it i just used my right arm and afterwards i realized like hey that's that's cool. In the journey like this, it's these small little victories that really help you and boost you know, your motivation. We're now 22 days in, and because of Bob's workout experience, this transformation is going pretty smoothly. But the transformation is not just about physical strength. I am gaining weight, I'm definitely gaining weight, but I don't think I'm getting a lot of fat. Next week is the 30 days, and we're actually gonna measure the results. I'm really, really excited to see day 90, because I'm starting to believe that I might be able to get pretty close to the shape I used to be in in 90 days. Today's a positive day and uh, hopefully it will stay that way all the way up to day 90. Well, it didn't. I did not hear from Bob for quite some time. No updates, no progress photos or videos. So I asked, how is it going? And Bob mentioned that he feels like there hasn't been much progress since day 15. And he did not sound too positive or even motivated. So I called him. What's up? What's up? Hey, What's up? Bob. How are you doing? I am sore as f does this mean that there's a lot of progress as well? I, I mean, I would say the gains that I was getting in the first two weeks didn't continue that way. The first 15 days were amazing. It was going great. Yeah, but just in my mind, it's just sort of slowing down, but maybe it's not. We'll see. Yeah, I'm really interested to see your body right now. So I'm, I'm hyped for that. Maybe you'll surprise us on day 30. Who knows? We'll see. If Bob just keeps putting in the work, he should be good. He has to trust the process. But then the next day, Bob sends me this. All right, so I'm just back from football practice. I'm a coach and at some point I caught a ball and without thinking, I wanted to like, you know, underhand throw the ball like this. And I just, I heard sort of the same sound as what happened when I did the one arm pull up and when I tore my bicep and it's driving me crazy. It happened like 20 minutes ago. I probably felt the tendon 500 times to see it's still attached. It is, it just hurts. I didn't really sleep well pain but also mentally just kept on thinking what if it's still the bicep hold my physical therapist has time today i need to know what this is because it's feeling just really really shit the physio said that luckily everything was still in place but he has to take it easy and take no risk for the next few days welcome yo what's up so how are you doing pretty good man and after some rest bob clearly looks ready for day 30. Whoa. day 30. day 30. and today with a tight shirt you're looking good let's look at the results let's weigh in Oh, and give us a flex. Oh. Let's look at what the skill says. On day one, it was 66.6 kilograms, and today it is 70.1 kilograms. That's a 3.5 kilogram gain. Bob gained an insane amount of muscle bag. The main reason why Bob appeared a lot smaller is because the amount of size that he lost on his shoulders and chest. But he gained back six centimeters on his shoulders and four on his chest and back. Ooh, four centimeter right. increase. 80 centimeters. Whoa. So he gained six centimeters around the shoulders and lost a centimeter on his waist. Like the ratio improved a lot then. Congratulations, you are now a certified Dorito. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bob, did you skip leg day? Yes. At some point I was so happy I was allowed to train upper body again that I kind of felt like, oh, I'll do legs next week. He also still made leg gains, which is interesting. 59. But now most importantly, the arms. On day one, your left arm was 32 centimeters. 
34 centimeters. Let's go. Two centimeter gains. And then your injured arm, your right arm. On day one, it was 31 centimeters. And today, it is 33 centimeters. The results are absolutely insane. And this all while getting leaner, which makes the 3.5 kilogram weight gain even more impressive. Those were the measurements. Now, the strength test. Okay, we're going for max push-ups. There's also a challenge in a 90-day challenge. How many do you think you can do? 20, 25? So of course, Bob did not start with zero push-ups, right. but he wasn't allowed to do any. But we're trying to get Bob back to his old level, which was 50 plus push-ups. So let's see how many he can do today. 30, 31, 32. Okay, now I notice my elbow is telling me uh, This stop. is it, this yeah. is it. But that was very good. On day one, Bob started with one kilogram dumbbell curls. And today he can do curls with... Here we go for 10. Let's go for 10. This is... A good Ten weight. 10 kilograms is a good weight. Okay, let's go. Be, be right. careful, be yeah, careful. Of course, of if course. it doesn't feel good, then stop. All right. Oh! oh! That's definitely possible. It is heavy. This is really overloaded. Yes, training. of course. This will get you those extra centimeters exactly. for day nine. Now the photo shoot to hopefully give Bob's self-image another boost. And oh boy, he looks insane. To show the difference even better, we did this. We stood here on this exact same spot before day one before even, day one. during yeah. a period where I think you were at your lowest muscle mass ever. Well, at least for the past <laughs> ten, 10 years probably. This is the footage we just recorded. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that side view. <laughs> But you can't give up now because there's 60 more days and our goal for day 90 is to get you as close as possible to your physique before the injury or maybe even beyond that. Let's Are you ready? Yeah, I am. Let's go. Make sure to subscribe, smash the link and hit that bell. I will see you in the next episode. If you want to start your own workouts, 90 day challenge, link is in the description. See you there.